All right, UI UX designers, it's official. Artificial intelligence is coming for your job. No, God, please, no, no! Because today was the public release of UIZard. Why Wizard? Wizard? I hate the name of this program so much, but they just released their auto designer, which is text-based prompt. It's automated by AI, and it's gonna give you from that text-based prompt, full-blown user flows, user interface, layout, color, typography, the whole nine yards. Will this replace your job? Is this the future of UI and UX design, or is it just another AI fad? We'll find out right now in this first time, never touched it before, hands-on review of Wizard, Wizard, whatever it's called. All right, once you sign up for this program, this auto designer, you'll be landed here where because it's a launch day freebie, we get three free tries, fantastic. Uh, and basically what you need to do here is describe your project in plain English. Let's try an example, what does it say? A dating app for people with magical powers. Let's try another one. How about a booking app to rent vacation homes for parties? How about a relaxation and meditation app for stressed out UX designers? Is that a hit to me? Maybe a little bit, but let's try it out. So we speak some plain English inside of the prompt there, and we describe a design style, pick keywords or both. Let's go light, let's go modern and artsy. We'll skip the young, organic green color with a soft chill vibe. Let's try this out, let's see what we get. We're gonna put generate my project, and all of a sudden, Auto Designer is generating my project. It might take a few minutes, it says. All right, you can see that it has finished it and it is immediately, literally as we speak, it is drawing out screens and putting the information on the screen. That is wild sauce beyond belief. Let's jump back in and see what it's created. I'm gonna zoom in and just check out the, 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 let's just check out and see what it made. I'm gonna close the template stuff up. We didn't actually dictate any sort of specific flow, what we wanted. We just told it the type of application and, and a couple of stylistic details. And this is what it gave us. It gave us a splash screen. It gave us a login screen. It gave us a, kind of what looks like an aggregated home screen. And then it really feels like it switched styles from this like illustrated vector art um, and went to like a photocentric version. Uh, well, we can choose from these different ones. We can track, okay. I mean, here's the crazy thing. It kind of inferred the type of features that you might find inside of the application, which is pretty crazy. Um, and it just added those, okay. It definitely spelled the word sign up wrong and it has some interesting language in there, but that could be fixed very, very easily. Gave us some sort of nice horizontal scrolling navigation and a search bar as well as the ability to track our mood perhaps. Okay, we're gonna go with that. And then we had the ability to start a meditation. I wouldn't call this fantastic UI design, but I it's there. There's stuff on the screen for sure. We have a profile here and then we had the ability to dig into that profile. That's impressive that it could generate even something like that that quickly. It was about 40 seconds that it took to create that. And again, it's not the most life-changing UI design or inspired different off-the-wall user experience or flows that are listed here, but definitely interesting stuff. All right, so we've headed back. We're gonna hit it again. We'll jump over to generate with auto designer and we have three free tries, so we're gonna try again. Let's do something this time. Uh, not a relaxation and meditation app. Let's do a uh, time blocking app. Uh, for busy creatives and uh, entrepreneurs. That's a very, very hard word to spell. So we're gonna spell check that. Calendar interface and adding a time block. All right, so now we're getting a little bit more specific. Let's see if it can get specific with us. Let's do something else, not organic green. Let's go light purple and pink gradients with a futuristic style. And let's get crazy, ready? Let's put Blade Runner. Ooh, uh, is that a thing? Let's see. Again, we're gonna generate the project and we will wait. This is what it looks like to design apparently nowadays. All right, here it goes. Let's see what it's gonna generate for us today. Uh, let's go back here 
and it is currently look at all the screens that it's generating definitely not gradients definitely just hard purples and pinks but that's okay we won't blame it we'll just zoom in and see what it's created for us again we get a splash screen uh it's asking us this is kind of interesting what do you need to focus on it even has put in some placeholder text for us about maximizing your productivity and it's saying hey choose what you want to do inside this application task blocking or reminder notifications okay all right then from there it has given us what looks like some incomplete titles up here avatar some activities okay it's got some kind of clear sections here and divisions but these are not the most elegant it's a little bit basic i would say interesting we have some sort of like this is where you would create a new time block and kind of select the frequency here this is an interesting calendar layout i would definitely think about taking this at, at the very least and making some changes here because this is a cool way to view the time block right inside the calendar the day week month pretty cool we got a notifications thing and then some sort of confirmation okay um it's definitely an interesting product the ability to put in a text-based prompt in natural language add a couple of tags here or there and then dictate the style and just generate you can dictate flows or just let it do what it does for the product it's going to go ahead and suggest and infer features layout typography color style pretty interesting stuff a lot of the ui design is what i would call subpar ui design although the ux design how it led from one screen to another was actually not so bad so as it sits right now i would say that it's definitely good enough to generate ideas that you might pull things from and then actually go out and design with i wouldn't say that at this point you're able to walk into auto designer generate a design and then just ship it you're not going to be able to ship these designs they're not ready for that they're just too rudimentary they're too rough around the edges and so at the very least you're going to sample from them and then plug them into the rest of your design i'm not abandoning ship on my ui and ux design career anytime soon this is not scaring me away in the slightest there's still always going to be a place for custom tailored suits and there's always going to be a place for well thought out solutions to real deal problems that you can't quite get yet using artificial intelligence. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up for sure as something that's interesting, but nothing that should threaten you right now for your career. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and even product reviews about AI tools like this one. So maybe ring that bell, stick around so you see more. If you have any questions, thoughts, or opinions about AI design, leave those down in the comments. And I hope that you're having an amazing week, designing amazing things, making amazing things, and building beautiful interfaces. We'll see you in the next one.